Okay, guys, so right here we have a park we have showcased before, but it is now completely finished before it was only half finished. Like, this entire chunk right here was finished, and the entire backside was not finished at all. Now it is completely finished, I believe. Well, no park is completely finished. This is pretty finished, I guess. And I just noticed this park is worth almost 7 million, which is actually a ton. My Super Nintendo World Park is not even worth 2 million yet, so that is a ton of money for this park. Um, we're going to read some credits right here. It is built by owen the man 14 right here so it's palm island solo project started over a year ago solo project dang they built this all by themselves personal favorite build is the water park yes i did see that water park it is amazing so you're gonna see that insane water park and i think like the main thing is the water park it is just the coolest thing in this park so watch to the end of the video to be able to see the water park but let's keep going 200 hours of build time that's a lot shout out to koali beach for the entrance and overall inspiration yeah i believe it comes from planet coaster so that's like the entrance right here so this is palm island so the entrance is kind of inspired but the rest of it is kind of just their own kind of thing so let's go so we're gonna enter what i love about this park is they literally have staff they have workers guys nobody does workers ever like maybe some people like in stands like for the for the ticket booths people do workers but other than that people don't do like workers standing by with like stuff they're, none of them are like exactly the same which is insane too and so i love that about this park they have workers but here's the entrance it's pretty insane there's a ton of trees i love this style of building trees for some reason it's just bushes on like a pole but it is so cool uh, it's kind of interesting but it's pretty cool so we're gonna keep going right here and this is the entrance i absolutely love this entrance it looks so cool and they just recreated it so perfectly well actually i haven't seen the actual one but i bet they recreated it pretty perfectly because look at all the detail here look at the tiny detail right there that is so small okay let's keep going over here we go into a fountain which is kind of usual for like literally any park ever like if you go to any park there will be a fountain somewhere around the entrance um well most parks oh my goodness there's somebody throw i think someone threw up it was probably cozy honestly look it's like a it's like a mickey right there yeah cozy's cozy kind of throws up with any ride he can't really take any rides a drop higher than 10 feet he just throws up well, let's keep going over here so first thing over here is kind of like a food court kind of thing like just sit down some of them have umbrellas some of them don't for some reason i don't know why but it looks kind of cool i like the umbrellas too so here they actually put like stuff on here like they put whatever that white stuff is probably napkins that's probably a napkin and then some like beverages right here and that's like their plates or whatever and so i love how they actually put like stuff on the on the tables before or well, anybody else would literally just put like the tables and i love this centerpiece like this this little piece with all the stuff here all this stuff that they add just makes it look realistic they're so good at making stuff realistic so here's one of the signs and it's it, it's not pointing us anywhere for some reason i say let's go to the right first and then we'll check out the water park later so here's another worker um what's she doing she's sweeping again she's back to sweeping voyager right here first ride coming up uh let's see this is like slinky dog dash why do they have a slinky dog dash right there she even has a microphone what okay this is pretty cool i like it it's probably more of a like a kitty ride too okay little hill right here okay so just kind of swerving around in circles right here and i think we're actually coming to the end this is a kind of a short ride yeah right there the voyager right there so it is kind of like slinky dog dash i think uh and now wait what is this no it's close oh am i tall enough to ride this ride let's see oh i need to be that tall i am taller yay let's go it might just be my hair that's taller but i don't care okay next ride right here we got is splash canyon okay splash canyon this sounds like a cool ride there's another little shop right here i guess the park is closed because all these stands are just closed uh, okay let's go so i am still barely tall enough for this one timber oh it's not called splash canyon i guess the place is called splash canyon but this ride is called timber falls i like these stairs too these are so cool what in the world they made it so detailed that they had to put like little trash on the floor or whatever that is that is actually kind of cool or maybe they didn't do that on purpose i don't know it looks kind of cool either way so we're gonna come into here and what is this why does it say testing right there is there like a ride down oh maybe that's like where the entrance is okay we're ready right here we're gonna we're just gonna wait for the ride i guess this looks insane though look at this ride this looks so cool okay i'm excited for this one now all right here we go we should probably go into like epic mode because this is a pretty epic ride 
here we go there we go we got the sound effects going in the background and everything whoa dang there's a small drop now i think we're gonna go on the big drop or maybe that was a big drop and now we're going to the small drop i don't even know this is kind of complicated here there are a ton of rocks whoa it's so detailed in here look at all those things over there that is a ton of detail here we go smaller drop but still fun <laughs> there we go i think that is most of the ride though oh maybe not actually we're going up again oh i don't know where we're going i'm kind of scared though what if there's another drop up ahead oh nope that's the end never mind no more drops that was really fun though that was a nice ride right there i liked it i like the mountain like the shape of it is cool i'm still tall enough for this ride okay good good oh this is just a pirate ship ride pretty cool though um oh there's a what is this ride wait i want to ride this ride whoa first drop i can't even see where we're going it's probably a pretty short one because i didn't see it at the beginning so i'm assuming it's kind of short or maybe it's just hidden underground like this oh are we going up again oh oh the rocks are like coming in on us oh my goodness i didn't even realize any of this was here whoa Oh, we can see the water park over there. Nope, we're not going there yet. Another drop. Whoa. Oh, that was just a miniature drop. That was tiny. Okay. And I think, yeah, that is the entire ride. That was actually a pretty cool ride. I like that. I want to ride this one right here. It looks pretty sick. Let's, let's ride this ride. Cool merchandise. Oh, they sell merchandise on a stand. That's different, I guess. Um, and we're going to go through here. Let's, oh, did it just leave? Dang it. We just missed it. Well, we're just gonna stand here for like 20 minutes while the ride goes around. Hold up, wait a minute. If you want to earn Roblox playing Roblox games like Theme Park Tycoon 2, make sure to sign and connect your Roblox account to Kinjo and play some games to earn coins. The more flames that the game has, the more challenging it is, which means you get more coins. Save up all your coins and redeem super cool prizes like Robux. So make sure to go to the App Store and download the Kinjo app right here. Once you're in the app, you can sign in and just register right here, put your birthday, put a password in, and you can get into Kinjo. Just scan this QR code and redeem 100 coins by putting my code in right there you can even get more coins if you get your own code and share it to your friends and every day if you log into kinjo you can get daily rewards right here that gives you coins there are so many different games that you can be playing and they will give you coins if you play them you can use those coins to redeem robux and you can even redeem stuff like mine coins and even v bucks so don't forget to scan this qr code right here and use my code to get 100 free coins thanks kinjo for sponsoring this video and now let's go back to palm island Oh, I was wrong. It wasn't 20 minutes. It was an hour. I'm just kidding. It was like two minutes, but it's okay. Let's go on this ride. Yeah, I think epic mode is good for this one too. This one looks pretty epic. Look at that drop right there. Whoa. What is this drop? I've never seen a ride like this where it like drops right away to the right. Oh, what? I didn't even think about having a whole underground thing. They have like some paintings over here. This is pretty sick. This is a really cool launch. Whoa. Also a pretty, a relatively smooth ride. It's not super smooth. Like you can tell some turns are a little sharp, but I mean, it is relatively smooth here. That was smooth right there. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, overall, this was a pretty sick ride. I liked it, I liked it. And now let's go to the next thing. There's a piano in here. Oh my goodness, what in the world? Why are some of the black keys twice as long as the other ones? what is this there are no longer black keys it's okay it's okay it's it's just a weird piano and they got some sheet music right here it'd be cool if they added like little music notes on here that would be pretty sick oh this was supposed to be the actual entrance it's called venus um so yeah this is the actual like cute line i went through the exit for some reason it's okay now we're gonna go to this ride right here this looks pretty cool it's called green run and i am barely tall enough again to ride this one too all right here we go green I forgot the second word of this okay even custom supports I'm pretty sure all of these have had custom supports which is obviously something that makes it look like a thousand times more realistic yeah it's a pretty cool ride it's kind of more on the kiddie side of rides but it's still kind of fast honestly pretty cool I like it that one was pretty smooth too for the space it had this ride was insanely smooth if it was bigger it's easier to make it smooth but this tiny little space that is really smooth for that space the attention to detail in this ride is insane look at this look at like all the treasure just pouring out of that treasure chest that is so nice and i love i love the fences guys take notes these fences are insane the jolly roger okay 
interesting and now we're gonna keep going over here to this coaster right here this one actually looks nice it's called the swashbuckler that's not that bad actually it looked bad when i looked at it but saying it wasn't as bad look at that that is insane look at that ship that got wrecked that is so cool it's literally split in half all right here we go the swashbuckler oh whoa this one's a pretty intense ride this one needs epic mode here we go dang this ride is so cool it's so compact but they made it work so well nice nice this this guy right here owen the man is so good at making things compact and actually good so many people just make things compact and it's so like rough because it's compact i mean even i would make stuff rough if it was compact palm island resort accommodations oh i want some accommodation is this like the hotel whoa okay wait wait ed's diner beauty salon tatter sale suites whoa that is really nice they it, i wish they made an inside to this because that would be pretty sick but i mean the outside already looks pretty sick as well the inside i feel like would just take an insane amount of time they even have a helipad up there and some fans and stuff look at that that's how realistic they try to make it and it says hotel right there on the side they even have more seats all right so let's keep going some more workers over here but now is it time for the water park fellas I think it's time for the water park here we go here's the water park so here's the entrance of it wristbands hot dogs burgers chicken cold and hot drinks hot dogs okay same thing over there and cool they like made the roofs of the of the the stands the seats they made the umbrellas like a different color because it's a whole new theme right here it's now time for the water park welcome to palm water park right here look at this entrance this actually looks so nice so let's go oh there's buttons right here i want to see oh dang it. i thought they were real buttons i thought they were gonna do something here's a waterfall pretty sick right there uh, but now i'm gonna reveal the entire water park in free cam mode here we go look at this beauty you probably saw it in the thumbnail but it looks so cool it looks so good i don't think i've seen a water park better than this one so first we got to go to the kitty place because for all the little kitties out there all right so children's area refreshments okay um it's locked why is it closed and then some seats with some more things on here what is that i want whatever that is that looks like some kind of slushy right there and some lounge chairs what that's insane look at this they should put more things out here i think like these things right here they should put more of them or more more like playground things i feel like but this is also really nice i love this and it's so perfect like the the height of the water literally just like halfway up my body it's perfect height right there for little kiddos right here kiddos are like maybe this tall they would drown in this water but lifeguard right here they've got that that thingy thing that helps them lifeguard and then here's like the lifesaver thing that's pretty cool uh what's this is this more more burgers and stuff yeah more burgers chicken and hamburgers i think hot dogs that's what i meant and now we're gonna go to the not children's area this is for the big kids guys this is for all y'all that think they can handle a humongous slide so there's three shops right here i love how they put so many shops in the park because that's literally the most realistic thing you could do so many theme parks have like a ton of shops they have way more shops than rides and that's what this park has right here so merchandise right here refreshments and snacks all right i think we're gonna ride that last because it's the coolest coolest for last we're gonna ride this one first kind of scared guys i don't think you can actually ride them though yeah let's just go on top of them we're like that as a kid did you ever go to a playground and just like climb on top of the slide like this it was the scariest thing ever but it was so fun i did that all the time and some restrooms in here perfect all right now we're gonna go to the next scariest slide right here so i don't know how to get up here actually all right here we go up here up the stairs pretty steep stairs again and here we go i'm gonna race you okay three hey come race me whatever i'm just gonna go by myself let's go yay all right the next one is gonna be this yellow one pretty insane actually we'll do the yellow one last we'll do like the three one right here is this like one of the wave pools i think this is one of the pools that like they generate waves because it looks kind of like that pool because it's usually like a square like this so it could be one of those maybe they don't have one but also they have a lazy river okay before we do the other slide where's like the entrance to the lazy river oh right here perfect they probably had to look up so many water parks to make this one because this is pretty accurate to like what water parks look like and it goes under the thing whoa look at this it literally goes under and there's still a lifeguard down here 
that is actually pretty sick and it like splits in the middle that is so cool okay next one is that slide the three slides right there how do we get up i have no idea slowly but surely we're gonna get up here no okay we fell but we came back up here we go dang that was pretty sick right there all right next ride right here is going to be the yellow one we can't go inside so let's just go around it do, 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 do. oh we fell and we probably died if we fell from that high but that's a pretty cool slide i like that one it's a cool little design right here so i think there is one last thing the water park is basically done we're basically done with this water park it is insane as you can see but one last thing i wanted to check out was like the, the back area over here look they even have like an area for like people to transport the stuff into the restaurants and stuff look at this this is like i don't even know what these are for but it looks cool anyways this is actually probably for the water pressure and stuff like that maybe this could be making like the waves for the water that would make some sense right there just some factory stuff that kind of makes the park function or probably the water park function uh and there's even like what the heck there's even like a weird like underground tunnel thing for the cars that is so cool and i think that is basically it this is just like for all the workers for like stuff to be transported into the park and i really like how they added this detail literally just makes it way more realistic so i think overall this park is one of the most realistic ones i've ever seen especially without with a water park probably the best water park i've ever seen as well so really really nice park you did a super cool job owen this has been a solo project with this which is crazy i haven't even seen like build groups build stuff like this which is so cool i also heard this park is insane at night time so we're gonna set the time tonight and see how it looks like in the night let's see this thing at night time i actually just want to see the water park at night time because that's that's the coolest thing in this park whoa that actually does look pretty cool i like this at night time it's like perfectly lighted like it's not too bright but it's also not like pitch black where you can't see anything even the pool is lighted up look at this it's like blue in here that is so cool they lit up the lazy river right there and i think the park actually does look pretty nice at nighttime i do prefer it at daytime but i love i love the like orangey lights right here at nighttime it looks pretty sick and they even lit up the splash canyon this is pretty cool i like the even the hotel so they even lit up like the hotel like in the windows kind of like showing that the lights are on inside that actually is pretty cool and some of them are even like off look that one right there is not even on maybe they're sleeping in their room or something but this is super cool at nighttime as well thanks for letting me showcase this this is palm island built by owen the man uh, like the video make sure to like it if you like this park and they don't have a youtube channel sadly that they want me to to say in the video so i know who does have a youtube channel i do and you should subscribe to the channel if you like this video and i guess my overall content thanks for watching i will see you guys in the next one bye